Ode on the Death of a Favorite Cat Drowned in a Tub of Goldfishes by Thomas Gray. Twas on a lofty vase side where China's gates arts had dyed the azure flowers that blow, demorest of the tabby kind, the pensive Selima reclined, gazed on the lake below. Her conscious tale, her joy declared, the fair round face, the snowy beard, the velvet of her paws, her coat, that with the tortoise flies, her ears of jet and emerald eyes, she saw and purred applause. Still, had she gazed but midst the tide, two angel forms were seen to glide, the guinea of the stream. Their scaly armor's Tyrian hue, through richest purple to the view, betrayed a golden gleam. The hapless nymph with wonder saw a whisker first, and then a claw. With many an ardent wish, she stretched in vain to reach the prize. What female heart can gold despise? What cat's averse to fish? Presumptuous maid with looks intent, again she stretched, again she bent, nor knew the gulf between. Malignant fate sat by and smiled. The slippery verge, her feet beguiled, she tumbled headlong in. Eight times emerging from the flood, she moved to every watery god, some speedy aid to send. No dolphin came, no nereid stirred, nor cruel Tom, nor Susan heard. A favorite has no friend. From hence you beauties undeceived, no, one false step is ne'er retrieved, and be with caution bold. Not all that tempts your wandering eyes, and heedless hearts is lawful prize, nor all that glitters gold.